you guys welcome back okay so are you guys ready to open some boxy charm boxes finally what's today the 16th 17th i don't know but finally got my boxy charm boxes in the mail it's so weird now because it takes forever for them to send a tracking then i get the tracking i look it up there's nothing there and it doesn't show anything and then it just shows up on my porch and then the same day my tracking says delivered even though yesterday it said delivery date still pending so weird so anyways i got both of my boxes so you guys know i do get the boxy premium i don't know which is which but i also get the boxy lux so this is a boxy lux month and so i don't know i'm gonna try to I think this might be my premium because it's not quite as heavy so i'm gonna open up my premium first and see what we got okay okay so first off let's see if i got a card in here because sometimes i get a card sometimes i don't and this time i do have a card this is what it looks like it's actually very pretty it says boxy charm and i think it says oasis the oasis down here let me put on my glasses Okay, so according to my card, I do have variation 34. I don't know if you can see that, but I do have variation 34, okay? So, let's just jump right in. First item I see right here on top, and you know what? Yes, this is my BoxyCharm Premium, <laughs> just to be clear on that. So, first item is from Glow Recipe. This is a Avocado Melt Retinol Sleeping Mask okay so i do have quite a few sleeping masks but okay i do really like glow recipe products though i love that watermelon moisturizer oh so nice okay so the same type of cute packaging except it's green for that avocado feel <laughs> very nice let me see if i can smell it okay so it does have a little clear top on here doesn't smell like anything that's interesting yeah it doesn't smell like anything so let's see how much this retails for glow recipe avocado melt retinol sleeping mask retails for 49 dollars okay not bad not bad at all like i said i have a lot of sleeping masks so i won't be using that for a while next here in the box i have from skin and co it says sardinian spirit the italian collection this is a shower gel Okay, very interesting to receive in my BoxyCharm box, a shower product. But it says here that this retails for $22. And so this is what it looks like, very nice size. Now I love shower gel, okay? I know my husband gets upset because I have like 10 shower gels. Ooh, this smells good. I like the way this smells. Very, very, ooh. It says with notes of sardinian, myrtle, lemongrass, and wild orange. Oh, that smells nice. I like it. But I like to have options when I get in the shower. So I love different shower gels. I can never just use one shower gel, finish it, and then start a new one. I have like 10 of them in there because it depends on how I feel as far as what I want to smell like, okay? So anyways, very nice. Okay, I haven't gotten a brush in a little while. This is a double-ended or dual-ended brush, it looks like, from Billion Dollar, <laughs> Billion Dollar Brushes. Is that the same company as Billion Dollar Brows? So this is what the brush looks like. One end that looks kind of like a flat top foundation or contour brush, and then this one is a larger fluffy type brush. So let's see what it says here. Billion Dollar Brows Sculpting Duo Brush retails for $30, okay? I don't really care for dual-ended brushes because I put all of my brushes in a jar or a brush holder, so the one that's on the bottom always end up getting smashed and deformed. <laughs> I don't lay my brushes anywhere, so I don't really care for that, but it does seem like it's a decent brush. Would I pay $30 for this? Absolutely not, but I mean, it looks okay. But yeah, $30, I don't think so. Okay, next I have here from Kat Von D. Boy, they really be getting rid of Kat Von D products in our boxes, don't they? <laughs> 
So this is the Ink Well Liner. I mean, I hear a lot of good things about her products. I've never really been one to purchase a lot, a lot of Kat Von D products in the past, nor in the present, but I hear a lot of good things about her products. So at least it's not like they're <laughs> just giving us crappy stuff. Okay, oh, this is nice. It has kind of like that soft touch feel. So this is what it looks like. Very, very pretty. I like that design. Let's see what it says. KVD Vegan Beauty Ink Well Long Wear Matte Eyeliner retails for $20. Okay. Yeah, I'm really, really interested in trying this out. I love a matte eyeliner. And yeah, I can do to try a new one. I use my NYX all the time. <laughs> so, you know, I could try a new one. Okay, so got some lashes in here. Lashaholic Luxury Lashes. This is what the box looks like. And let's see which ones I got. Are they all the same style? It's always so hard to see them in this glitter packaging. I don't know if you guys can see that, but that is what mine look like. And it says here, Lashaholic Luxury Lashes. They're real, I swear. Retails for $14.99, so that's not bad. So these are more affordable lashes, huh? Well, I don't pay $15 for lashes, but I know there's some people that pay like $20, $30 for lashes, so <laughs> these sound a little bit more affordable to me, and they're very pretty. Can't wait to try them out. Okay, not bad. Okay, so it looks like I have one more item in here, and it is a palette. This is a face palette from Too Faced. This is the Coco Contour, Coco Infused Contouring Palette. So this is what the packaging looks like. Very cute, looks like a chocolate bar. This is what the back looks like. It shows you what is inside the palette. So let me go ahead and open this up. Ooh, this packaging is... <laughs> very nice okay i love when they do this type of packaging very very cool i mean it's not very easy to store like when you store palettes like i do kind of like stacked up and stuff but it's very very pretty look at that gorgeous and it has you know like that rounded feel to it very very nice okay so let's take a look It don't smell like chocolate to me. It smells like Play-Doh. <laughs> but this is what it looks like. These are the colors in here. The shades, I should say. I will definitely be over here in this row, in this corner, staying over here in my lane, okay? <laughs> so these are the two shades that I would use. This looks like something I would use, kind of like a peachy type blush, to be honest with you. And then this, of course, definitely to contour with. With Too Faced, you know, uh, complexion products and stuff, you just never know. Now, this one actually looks like it might work. You never know. So I'll have to try it out and see. Now, what does it say? Too Faced Cocoa Contour Palette retails for $44. Okay, so not bad at all. I really like this. It's very, very pretty. Okay, you guys, so that's it for my premium box. I got the Coco Contour Palette, which I really like, so I'm happy about that. I got this shower gel, which is surprising, interesting. I did not expect anything like this, but I love shower gel, okay? Um, the Lashaholic Lashes, I'm not mad at these. I like getting different types of lashes to try. The KVD Liner, eh. I'm excited to try it out just because, you know, her products usually get pretty good reviews, but I'm kind of tired of them getting rid of all the KVD stuff in our boxes. Like, come on now. <sighs> this brush, I'll probably end up giving it away because I don't like dual-ended brushes. And for this sleeping mask, it's just going to go with the rest of my skincare because I have a lot of these to go through before I get to this one. But I do think it's a really cute, cute packaging, and I do like glow recipe products so i would say this month's premium was not a bust okay was not a bust okay let's go ahead and open up the big puppy for the month the boxy lux and see what we got okay so it looks like my card got into a fight with somebody 
it's all crepe pulled up. But same thing, the Oasis. And is there a variation? Yeah, I have variation 13 down here in the corner. 13, okay. So let's see what we got. Well, I got a couple of like sales cards in here, so it's kind of telling me what's in here already. Okay, so let's start off with this first item. Just looking at it, I can tell I probably don't want it already because <laughs> I don't I don't like getting tools in my box, you know. I don't want any tweezers, I don't want any rollers, I don't I don't want any blow dry, I don't want none of that, okay? I don't want no tools. And this looks like a tool. <laughs> it's from Ose, it looks like. O S E A. So let's see what this looks like and then we'll figure out what it is. Okay, so this is <laughs> something I don't want, okay? <laughs> but it looks like from the picture, like she's using it to kind of massage in some type of skincare or something. So let's see what it says about this tool. Ose Gua Sha Sculptor. Bring the spa home and mimic the effects of our cult favorite skincare studio treatment. Chisel, lift, and define facial contours with this jade tool. Melt muscle tension and improve skin firmness with consistent use. Facial gua sha can, I'm probably not saying that right, can help smooth fine lines and wrinkles. Retails for $32, okay. While I'm sure that this works amazingly, I don't want it. So, yeah, I'm going to have to give this away to somebody who likes tools, okay? So, that's the first item. Next, we have here M Green Grass CBD Head to Toe Cream. Okay, so it's in this cute little pump here, if you can see that. Cute little bottle. It's not too, too tiny, but it's kind of small, okay? So, let's see what it says about this. M Green Grass CBD Head to Toe Cream. It says it retails for $56. Uh, okay, this unique formula uses THC-free encapsulated CBD for faster absorption. It's also packed with high-performance ingredients for intense hydration, exceptional moisture, plus soothing and calming benefits. Okay, so not bad at all. Let me see if I can, okay, if I can get a little bit of this out. Doesn't smell like anything. Y'all, I don't know if my nose is broke today, but it doesn't smell like anything. So that's what it looks like. Nice, thick, white moisturizer. Oh, but it absorbs in rather easily, quickly, nicely. It feels good. Okay. So this is like an all over type deal. So I could use it on my face too, I'm assuming. Yeah, it doesn't smell like anything, which is very, very strange. I don't know if I like things that don't smell like anything. I like scents. <laughs> and since my skin is not really sensitive, you know, it doesn't bother me if something has a scent. But, ooh, very nicely moisturizing. Okay. Okay, so that's item number two. Next, I see here <laughs> something I never buy for myself because I don't want it. It's Perlis Perfect Glow BB Cream SPF 30. Okay, so that's cool, SPF 30, but I don't do BB creams. Oil-free moisturizing nat natural looking coverage. Matte meets glowy finish for all skin types, even sensitive. Okay, nice. So this is what it looks like. <laughs> I'm definitely going to try this out, though, because since I don't really do BB creams, I kind of steer clear of them. Y'all know I'm a full coverage type chick, so, you know, light coverage, lightweight things don't really appeal to me. But let's see what it says. Perlis Beauty Perfect Glow BB Cream SPF 30 Complexion Perfection for a Gorgeous Matte Meets Dewy Finish. Multitasking Beauty Balm Glides On Like a Tinted Moisturizer with all the age-defying coverage and sunscreen benefits of a foundation and BB cream. Retails for $35, okay? So, yeah, I'm definitely gonna try this. Let me see, <laughs> let me check it out. It did have a little safety seal on there, so I just took that off. Okay, and this, uh, does it have a, I could have swore I seen a color on here, tan deep. So it says tan deep. 
So basically it's tan, not deep enough for your girl, okay? <laughs> yeah, that, mm, yeah, that's not, not that, ain't, that ain't gonna work. I'll be looking a little bit ashy if I use that, honey. Yeah, I'll be looking just a little bit ashy if I use that. Ooh, ooh. I guess it's something that I can use though as a, since it's SPF 30, which is really good. It's something I can use underneath my foundation, maybe just a, a light thin layer underneath my foundation to give me the SPF. I don't know, y'all let me know, okay? But yeah, I, I can't wear this by itself, it's too light. <laughs> is too light and your girl ain't going out like no sucker okay okay let's see what we have here <laughs> well what do you know another sleeping mask from pure heels by nature village propolis 80 sleeping mask okay looks about the same size nice little box and like i said you guys it's like they've been giving me sleep mask or sleeping mask like it ain't nobody's business. I'm like, dang, how much do y'all think I sleep? Okay. So anyways, I got another sleeping mask. <laughs> so let's see what it says about this. This one says it's an enriched sleeping mask, provides full nourishment and glowing skin to tired skin while sleeping. The propolis extract forms a water oil protective barrier that soothes irritated sensitive skin, retails for $55, okay? So this stuff is pretty pricey. Let me see if it smells like anything. Why do we always have to smell everything, you guys? Ooh. So this is what this one looks like. Oh, that has a nice pleasant smell to it. See, now I like this one. This one has a nice, nice pleasant smell. Very very calming yeah i like that i'll probably use this one before the glow recipe just because it has a scent to it because <laughs> i like scents so i'm not happy about getting another sleeping mask in the same month you would think they would kind of try to keep track of that but whatever okay so lily lashes triple x mascara okay very very nice let me check this out oh i like this packaging Packaging is very, very nice and sleek. I like that. Let's take a look at this wand. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, I can get with that. Nice size wand. It looks like the mascara is not too wet, not too dry. I'm not mad at it. So, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and hold on to that. Like it, like it. Okay, let's see what it says here. Lily Lashes Triple X Mascara retails for $24. Okay. Next, I have here something from Kylie Skin. This is her foaming face wash. Nice big size bottle. Now, I will say, just like the shower gel, I love getting face washes, okay? Because, you know, you wash your face, you know, a couple times a day. So, I go through face wash and shower gel and stuff rather quickly. But this one here, Kylie Skin by Kylie Jenner foaming face wash. It looks very nice, if you can see that. Looks very nice. Let me see if I can smell it. I hate to squirt some out, but that's what I'm going to do because I want to smell it. Okay. Foaming. Smells very light. Doesn't smell, doesn't smell overpowering or loud. Very nice, soft, light scent. Okay, not bad. Okay, so let's see how much this retails for. $24, okay, $24. I'm very curious about this because y'all know her skincare line got some really bad as well as mixed reviews, so, and I definitely wasn't gonna buy it. So I'm glad to get this, just to try this out and see, you know, at least how her face wash is. Okay, next here I have something from Bodyography. Ooh, lip pencils. There's a two in here, it's a two pack of lip pencils, if you can see that. So let's open it up and see what we got. <laughs> Hopefully they're not both tan. <laughs> oh my goodness, okay. Okay, so they're not both tan, very nice. One is pouty and one is rosewood. Rosewood. Okay, so pouty is on the top 
and rosewood is on the bottom very very pretty so we got one that's like a nice nude and then a beautiful burgundy you guys know i love me some burgundy lip liner okay so i'm happy about that let's see what it says here bodyography lip pencil set pouty and rosewood retails for 28 dollars antioxidant lip pencils that glide on like your favorite lipstick with precise pigment rich color to frame fill in and define lips Enriched with coconut oil and vitamin E. Okay, not mad at it. Okay, so lastly here, I do have a palette. And this is from Tarte. It's the Tarte Tardius Pro Amazonian Clay Palette. And it's so funny because I actually wanted this palette. I've wanted this palette for a very long time. And every time I see BoxyCharm saying, oh, this is, you know, one of the sneak peeks or whatever, I'm like, I ain't gonna get it okay i ain't gonna get it i never get the good stuff but i got it so i'm happy so let's check her out okay very nice sleek black and gold packaging very very nice let's open her up it didn't totally crumble but you can see it has a little bit there where it looks like it got a little dinged up but these are the colors in this palette very, very pretty of course you know i like like these last three rows over here <laughs> but i just wanted this palette for some reason i always thought it was just so pretty okay so let's see what it says about this palette tart tardius pro amazonia clay palette retails for 49 dollars okay not bad so i got some pretty high priced items in this box lux this month so I'm really not too upset, okay? They've been getting on my nerves with their tracking and shipping them whenever they feel like it and customer service, you know. That stuff's really been getting on my nerves, but these two boxes might have saved them for another month, okay? Because <laughs> y'all know this was a deciding month for me, but I like this palette. I like the foaming face wash. Um... I, the, I like the two pack of lip pencils. It's not bad. I do like the mascara. Um, This CBD head to toe cream. I hear a lot of people saying good things about the CBD stuff. So I'm happy to try that out actually. I always like any type of moisturizers, daily moisturizers and creams. This sleeping mask I could have done without, but it smells really good. So that's a plus. <laughs> this tool honey no 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 they could just gave me the rest of the box and left that out and this bb cream i hate that it's too light for me because i really want it to have something to try out but honey i ain't gonna be walking around looking ashy no no ma'am okay so that's it for my two boxes this month you guys um i'm not mad i'm not mad okay i'm not mad at all so thank you so much for hanging out with me don't forget to hit that like button. If you like your girl's content, go ahead and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. I do show up here on the tube occasionally, okay? So yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next video. Toodles!